Recently, I was asked to tell the story of why I walk and, well, I walk to remember. I walk to remember being a little boy, rolling my toy cars back and forth on that carpet in my grandmother's living room. I also walk so she can remember too, because she can't always call out memories on her own like she used to anymore. I began when my grandmother, Pat, started showing signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, and when those signs started to affect her behavior. Every step I take is for her, and I've met so many amazing people along the way with amazing stories, some similar to mine, and some so different that the only connection between them is the passion we share. Every interaction, every walk to end Alzheimer's t-shirt, and every purple wristband only puts more pep in my step as I continue to step forward, as we continue to step forward. So now, I walk to honor all of those living with Alzheimer's and all of those living adjacent to it as well. The journey to find a cure and the first survivor might be a long one, but I can assure you, this will be a walk to remember. I am joining the walk to in Alzheimer's because my grandfather really inspired me. Seeing him go through this disease process really made me want to get into this field to help take care of people. I really want to help in whatever way I can, so I'm going to walk to help raise awareness about it and I want to make him proud, so that's why I'm walking. I actually first learned about Alzheimer's and dementia when I was a teenager. Um, unfortunately, because it affected um, a grandmother that was very dear to my heart. The decline that happened to her, for me at such a young age, um, it left such a great impression that I, uh, I decided to become a nurse and to specifically do um, work with the elderly and specialize in long-term care. Um, I hope that one day no family ever has to deal with a loved one who doesn't recognize them. It's just, it's a completely heartbreaking disease and the more research and funding and attention that we can give to it, um, the better it's gonna be so that one day we don't even have to experience it. My husband has Alzheimer's and dementia. His name is Vaughn Cameron and he's the love of my life. And I would be more than happy to do anything I can to help with finding a cure. I met a lady named Yaya. I saw her through each phase of dementia and it changed my world to where now I, that's the only population I really want to work for and work with and help. So like they need as much assistance as they can get. And why not us? Why not me? Why not you guys be there to help them out and help them give them as much of a quality of life that we can. So that's the reason that I walk. Um, my yaya, she changed, she changed my perspective on things. I've been in this field for maybe a year and a half now, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Um, they seem to me that they have Alzheimer's, but they don't seem that they have it, if you know what I mean. They're, they're very knowledgeable. They're very, you can learn a lot from these people. You really can. Um, I love everything about it. That's why I'm here almost every day, all day, and that's why I walk. I want to thank all my friends for meeting up with me and sharing their stories, and I'd love to hear yours too when I see you at this year's Jacksonville's Walk to End Alzheimer's on November 5th at UNF.